Hello, sausage fans! Today we're back in Lincoln Park to try Chicago's Doghouse! No, we haven't been here before! All these places just have similar sounding hot dog pun names! Chicago's Doghouse is a hole in the wall with very limited seating, but plenty of hot dogs and sausages. Just look at the menu! There's too many things to try in one sitting! So I opted for the Animal Kingdom special! Seven unique sausages made of wild game animals! First up, we have the kangaroo sausage, topped with cheddar cheese, buttermilk ranch and fried onions. It's a dense sausage with a little bit of sweetness to it. It's not bad, but it's also not great. It's a unique taste that can only be described as almost beef and not quite pork. 7 out of 10. Second is the rattlesnake and rabbit sausage. It's also got Kobe cheese, barbecue sauce, and hot giardinera peppers. This one is pretty gosh darn tasty. Rattlesnake and rabbit are pretty lean meats, so it's a little on the dry side, but nothing that that barbecue sauce can't handle. This one is definitely worth a try if you're in the area. Eight and a half out of ten. Third is the wild boar sausage, accompanied by classic bratwurst condiments of mustard, onions, and sauerkraut. This one pretty much tastes like a thick hot dog. Seven and a half out of ten. Fourth is the apple brandy duck sausage. With Swiss cheese, Dijon mustard, and caramelized onions, this one was Mrs. Sausage's favorite. Would you know there's duck in there? Probably not, but it tastes fancy. It's a sausage I can imagine having a glass of champagne with. Eight and a half out of ten. Fifth is the Wagyu jalapeno and cheddar sausage. And it tastes like a spicy long hamburger. The jalapeno and cheddar is overpowering any subtle flavors that Wagyu may have brought to the table. And it kind of tastes like a hot dog that was made on one of those rusted out free to use grills at the park. Seven out of ten. Sixth is the Hercules sausage. This is lamb that has been spiced with whatever they spice euros with. And served on a pita with plenty of tzatziki sauce as well. Unique? Sure. Does it taste like a euro? You know it, brother. Would I order it again? Probably not. If I want a euro, I'll just get it the traditional way. 7 out of 10. Lastly, we have Chance the Snapper Sausage, also known as the Alligator Sausage. Served with caramelized onions and sweet chili sauce. This one has got quite a bite to it. It's seasoned on the inside like a spicy Italian sausage and also has the least amount of toppings on it. 8 out of 10 for that as well. In the end, I was a little disappointed in the mediocrity of these wild game sausages. It just goes to show that you can top a sausage however you want, but what matters most is the sausage flavor on the inside that counts. Now for a little sausage quest business, instead of taking the top score as the overall score to rate the restaurants, we are now going to use the average instead, since it has made so many of you angrier than you should be. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to poop. See you next time on Sausage Quest! Bop, 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 bop